Welcome. This is uh, Doug Glenn with Industrial Heating. We're here at the Furnaces North America event in Nashville, and we're here to interview today Mr. George Conrad, who is the president and owner of GeoCorp. And uh, George, first off, welcome. Thanks. Thanks Happy for being here. Great. We're uh, we're. I noticed that you were giving away these uh, these uh, uh, thermocouples. And I wonder if you could just tell us how that's going. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever give away such a nice giveaway at a, at a show. Can you tell us a little bit about it? How's, it? how's it going? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank MTI and Industrial Heating for sponsoring the show and all of its memberships. It's been an absolute stellar show for us so far. Great. We're looking to finish out strong. Um, most companies that you see at trade shows have a tendency to uh, give away toys. So we've uh, chosen to give something of value that our customers can actually use. Uh, uh, it's a system accuracy test probe with a certification that is usable in, in that application. So, right. and it's gone very well. Yeah, I, I, I've, as you said, I've never seen anybody give anything away quite that quite that nice. So I think just by itself, that's quite a uh, quite an accomplishment. So, there's there's a certain value to it, but the actual usability is the key. Right. Yeah. right. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the company. I, I noticed that you're you're founded in uh, in '89. Uh, and about uh, going on 20 years, I think next year in 2009, the company will be 20, 20 years old. Has it been, uh, you, you founded the company, has it been what you had expected? Are you happy with the growth? Uh, the growth is excellent. We are experiencing approximately seven times gross sales growth in the last nine years, so it's been far beyond our initial expectations. Of course, when you start a company from nothing with nothing and become anything, it's pretty darn good, but yes, uh, right. we're gaining market share rapidly, this is true. Right, right. And, and now what do you attribute uh, that type of growth to? I mean, there's always got to be something in hindsight you can say, boy, this is, what, this is what's done it for us. Yeah, as the, as the sole owner, I would like to take credit 100% for that, but the reality is we have got a phenomenal group of people uh, in our employment. Uh, again, our company only 19 going on 20, and we've got people that have been on our employment for 8, 10, 12, 15 years, and that core group has helped build us to this point. And now, uh, tell me a little bit. One of the one of the main issues that almost any thermal processor has to deal with is uh, is certification of specs, things of that sort. Uh, as far as AMS 2750, that type of thing. Can you tell us a little bit about how GeoCorp? through products like this can help those uh, thermal processors reach those specs? We, we chose to be directly certified to NAVLAB, NIST, the United States government, uh, in 2000 and have been recertified every year. Uh, some of our competitors obviously are HLA certified and get audited every three years. We have to go through the expense and the process every single year and uh, we're one of three companies in the world that have that level of accreditation we're the only company that manufactures thermocouple wire thermocouples and accessories that has that accreditation now you'd mentioned earlier to me when we spoke about some uh, integration of products, uh, the the growth of uh, vertical vertical product growth and things of that sort that may have contributed to success. Can you comment on that just to, for a moment? As a manufacturer, it's always problematic when you have suppliers that don't necessarily deliver on time or deliver the quality. Um, to, to you, you're talking about people t delivering to you. As a manufacturer, there yeah. were certain ingredients, componentry parts that just simply were not arriving on time in the fashion that we needed. So over the past uh, eight years, uh, we have vertically integrated into the manufacture of insulated uh, thermocouple wire. Uh, we've gone from zero braiders to 69 braiders and 22 and a half million foot capability. Uh, we are now uh, expanding our own connector line, which we never had before, and uh, it adds value to be able to deliver to the customer faster than waiting for that componentry to finish the end product. So it's it's a home run for for everyone. Gotcha. Now tell me a little bit. You mentioned customers. Tell me tell me about the market for you. Is it a North American market? Is it uh, how international? Uh, tell me a little bit. Well, that's a good question. I think the globalization of all industry has really been dramatic over the past decade. A decade ago, if you would have asked me this question, I mean, we were a North American company. A little bit in Mexico, a little bit in Canada. Now we have customers in Singapore, Taiwan, Malaysia, Australia, Europe, 
all over. So very, very thoroughly international at this point. Now, do you have manufacturing facilities in those locations, or is it primarily that you're manufacturing things here and shipping? We have one manufacturing plant in here on Ohio. 100% of everything we do comes from that one facility and is then distributed. Okay, great. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you to put the crystal ball out a little bit and uh, see what see what you can think. I mean, everybody wants to know. Obviously, we've got, I'm not sure I want to ask you about the economics. Uh, for those of you who might be listening to this on uh, on a webcast or something of that sort, we're, we're in October of 2008 looking at a pending uh, tragedy in 2009, maybe, maybe not. But can you tell us what, just from your opinion and uh, the business experience you've had, what what's your outlook on the in the heat for the heat treat industry over the next let's say 12 12 uh, 12 months 18 months now the heat treat industry in general is obviously becoming more globalized as well uh, the neat thing about our products is that the heat treaters whether they're busy or not have to use some of our product admittedly they use more when they're busier but for our business model and the consumable products that we manufacture um, sure, we may see a slight downtick in next calendar year, but uh, our overall outlook for the next five years will be to double in size. In so, so the economy maybe uh, is is definitely a question. I mean, we don't know; it's an unknown at this point. But how about technologically, as far as the uh, as the future goes? What do you, what do you see? Any changes on the horizon? Changes in maybe standard compliance or technologies as far as thermocouples and those uh, that type of thing? Well, as it pertains to this show, there are a couple of new ideas out there that I've seen and looked at. I don't believe it's um, a condition on where we're at and where we're going. Uh, the economy in general is strong here for us now. Uh, our global footprint presence of customers is growing and the usage is up and it's, it's considerable. Uh, kind of exciting. You know, can we really predict where we're going to be a year or two from now? I don't know. The interesting part about our products, however, is the heat treaters have to use our product. If they're busy, they're going to use more. If they're not busy, they still have to use some. I don't think any company is economy proof. I think our company is probably a little more economy resilient. In respect to new technologies and what we're going to bring forth to market over the next several years, uh, we have a vertical integration plan that we're going to be implementing that's going to even position us better. Uh, for growth, we will probably double in size in the next five years. Great, that sounds good. Well, George, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate. It. I would like to mention that uh, GeoCorp uh, this year at the Furnaces North America show was the sponsor of a couple of things. Uh, we had a room drop for uh, literature that went to the, uh, the the hotel rooms, and also they did the uh, water stations here around to keep everybody well liquidated, uh, just with water around the exhibit hall. So, George, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.